Is the key objective, from your perspective, to try and inspire and excite the supporters? Because everyone's fully aware of what happened on the pitch last season. It was disappointing, that 10th place finish. The fans obviously cry out for something to get excited about. Do you feel that that's hopefully going to happen in the transfer market this summer? Uh, absolutely. I, I think, to an extent, it already has happened. What we need to do, and what the manager and the team need to do, is, is then turn that into performances and results on the park. That's what's going to inspire supporters. That's what's going to bring people back. Um, we've recruited four um, in, since the, the season closed. Uh, all of those four players are high quality players who have great experience. We plan to add more to that and ultimately it's about delivering on the park. Of course we want to inspire everyone, but we still believe, we still have the ambition and we still think that, you know, in not too distant future, we'll have put together a squad that is an exciting squad. It's a smaller squad, it's a tighter unit. It will have an excellent balance of, um, of youth and experience. And uh, we're still very optimistic about the season, but you know, we recognise that we have, to, we have to show that. And uh, the team hopefully will show that in, in future weeks. If we, if we can briefly rewind to last season and just touch on, on what happened. Um, from the board's perspective, just how challenging was the, what have the last four months been really, would you say? Uh, it's, been, it's been turbulent, it's been, it's been difficult. There have been some positive, um, positive things, primarily around the, the transfer window in, in January, where we started to see what, what could be delivered. The season didn't end uh, the way we wanted it to. But again, the manager was very keen to, to learn as much as he could about his squad and the depth of his squad and about some of the individuals. And we, we believe that that can only help us going into the season. What we strive for as a club, as we've said many times, is stability. You know, we, of, the, of the squad now, I think it's something in the region of 14, 15 of those players have either been brought in by the current manager or have been re-signed on longer contracts by the current manager. And, you know, it, it will be uh, his squad, his team this season. And, you know, we want to produce the environment and the platform to allow him, to allow the coaching staff and to allow the, that squad to get on and, and deliver. And that, that's what we strive to do. So what would be your message to the fans in terms of managing everybody's expectations about perhaps what we can achieve on the pitch this season? Where well, you... our, our ambitions on the part haven't changed and they've been said many, many times. It's very early in the season. It's a very early start to the season. The transfer window has still got five weeks to go and we're still out there and we're still active and we still expect to add to the squad. We've been extremely unfortunate with one or two injuries to important, experienced players. My message would be Believe, believe that we, we're still um, fighting hard, we can still produce a very competitive team and our expectations are that we're going to be challenging in the top half of the league and as ever we go into the season uh, expecting to, to go deep into the cup competitions and you know, we're looking for uh, European qualification uh, to, to take us into next season. Obviously we've seen some encouraging signs in the early part of July uh, with a number of young players really stepping up and, and making an impact at first team level and also just looking back at last season with the emergence of Callum Booth. In terms of where we are at the moment with the academy structure, just how satisfied are you with the amount, the quantity and the quality uh, of players that are coming through that right now? Well, um, Callum's an obvious example from last season, but there are a number of players, I think of the, the, the first team squad of 25 at the moment, 12 or 13 of the players are, are under 21. So we have produced a number of young players, but they, as Callum shows, many of those players will have to gain experience of playing first team football somewhere else. Again, still early, uh, and, and other clubs maybe aren't ready to make those decisions. But you know, I would still expect we would need to take some of those young players who've come through the academy and allow them to go and play their football somewhere else for a time, and gain experience as Callum Booth did, and then come back to Hibernian as better hardened um, professional footballers who can perhaps push for a, a more regular place in the first team squad. But it remains central to the club going forward that youth development is at the core of what we do and that's one of the reasons why uh, we have restructured and reorganised ourselves uh, to, to, if anything, increase our focus in that area. Uh, we have completely reorganised the youth development structure over the course of the summer. 
uh, and that is partly in response to changes that are coming down from the SFA. Uh, we recently saw the announcement about the performance awards scheme, which is one of many changes that will come now that the uh, SFA have their performance strategy, the performance director has been appointed. Uh, they have great plans to change the way elite footballers are developed in Scotland and we are absolutely certain that we are going to be right at the forefront of that. And we think the changes we've made during the summer probably place us slightly ahead of the game uh, in terms of keeping our football club aligned to where the best practice is going in development of youth football. We've spoken before in interviews, Scott, about, I've sort of mentioned the, the phrase or the mantra, prudence with ambition. It's obviously something that, that we've, we've utilised and tried to employ over a number of years now. Uh, at, at present, is it a case of meticulously trying to sow the seeds for future success and then eventually we will sort of reap the harvest? Or, or how is it, because the, the emphasis is on the academy quite a lot, isn't it, at the club? Well, it is, but it's not about, you know, only never, never, and eventually something will happen. What we have to do is make sure that a very successful system and pipeline of talent remains at the cutting edge and we continue to attract the right calibre of player and the right calibre of coach into that system and that we stay absolutely um, on the money as far as current thinking is concerned in the development of, of professional athletes. It's hugely important to us. We've got some fantastic people in that part of the organisation who, uh, who tend not to be as well known to the public. Bill Hendry heads that up. We've got James McDonough, now uh, head of academy coaching. Um, it's, it's vital to us going forward that we continue to do that. As a club, we, we always strive to live within our means. Um, we have produced some great talent, we've moved some great talent on at the right time, but we have always reinvested that Sometimes that's reinvested in the squad, it's been reinvested in the infrastructure and uh, we just have to maintain the quality of that organisation and continue to, to look for ways to, to improve.